Let's get right into this. So we have a complete tutorial coming up of the Taiko or Taiko network. It's similar to Ethereum and feels very much like Ethereum when using the testnet. It's a ZK rollup, completely decentralized. The community manages all network activity without authorization. It had 22 million raised in its investment rounds. This could be a big, big airdrop. It's got a lot of hype behind it and could be similar to the other layer twos that have launched on the Ethereum network. So let's get into this guide. It's going to be comprehensive. There's also going to be a Galaxy guide, which is very important in this one. There's some tasks in there that you need to do to be eligible for this airdrop. So I will take you through the testnet and a Galaxy quest. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first you're going to need to add the whole Sky network to your wallet. So you're going to come to chain list, you're going to type in whole Sky, make sure you've clicked on include testnets, and then you're going to add this to your MetaMask, whole Sky. You also need to add the Catla network to your MetaMask. So type in Catla and that will pop up and you will also add that in so that we can complete all the transactions that we need to do. Okay, so before we can do anything on the test net, we need to get some gas. So you're going to come to this four set here for whole sky. You're going to put your address in and you're going to start mining. It will take five to 10 minutes to be able to mine enough so that you can claim the tokens. Next, we're going to go to the four set and we're going to get some tokens. So you're going to go to the four set on the bridge page and you're going to request horse and you're going to do it on the whole ski network. And I think you can also do it on the Catla. Um, but yeah, definitely on the whole ski and I try to do it on the Catler as well. Request some tokens, mint the tokens, and then we're good to start doing some transactions. Once at the bridge, you're going to bridge some horse tokens over to the Catler network, and then you're also going to need to bridge some ETH over to the Catler network. You're then going to go to the NFT tab right next to the token where you just did the bridge, and then you're going to scan for an NFT. To be honest, I can't remember. I've already done this and I can't remember which network it was on, Whole, whole Sky or Catler. Um, so just scan on both the networks. You will have an NFT in there that you can then bridge from one network to the other. And with all these transactions, you need to claim the transactions in the transactions tab. It takes up to 24 hours to be able to claim it. So this is the NFT that I bridged across. So you would claim it once it's available to claim and same with the tokens. If you click to token, and you can see, see the transactions that I've done. Just make sure that you claim them after you've um, done the transactions. Cross to the swap, connect to the Catler network, and we're going to do some transactions. So swap the horse you've got to some ETH so that you've got some ETH to play about with. You can also get some USDC. So you want to do transactions on all of these. You can get some of the, the Taiko token. Make sure you transact to all of these and you're good. We're then gonna add a pool. So if you go to the pools tab and you go to new position, and if you choose ETH and you can choose any pair you want, but if you choose ETH and horse, and you can do this with multiple pairs, so do a couple, and then you would choose any one of these. If you can go, you can go with a 0.3%. Again, you can play around and do different pairs with different percentages. Then just go full range deposit the amount so if you went 0 0.05 and it would bring up the amount down here so obviously I haven't got enough horse so you would do less ETH but that's all you need to do and then you would set up the liquidity pool and you're done with that two dot names and we're going to register a domain so you can choose any one of these that you like search a domain and then you're going to search a domain up And then you're going to register it and there's an option for gasless or gas i did the gas option i'm not sure if the gas um the gasless option works but you should have some eth it's only a little little amount of eth but you should have some eth from the swaps that you did there's also a faucet here where you can get some eth for doing a tweet so once you've registered it you'll see it under my account your domain will be there and also with dot names they have some quests so if you click here there's some quests that you can complete for dot names as well. Deploy a contract with third web. So on the website, you're going to go to the explore tab. You come down to token. You go to deploy now. Type in any name that you like. You can do a symbol, a description, but that's not necessary. 
and then you make sure that you're on the Catla network and then you deploy a contract on the Catla network and you're done with third web. You can also do some bridge transactions on the Mison website. So just make sure that your Catla up here on the top, gonna bridge some ETH across. I would do the X1 testnet as they also have a token launching soon, mainnet launching soon, they're still in testnet, but there will be an airdrop for X1 as well. And I will be doing a video for that today as well. Okay, so they have three quests open at the moment on Galaxy. And the first one is the bonus trust. And if you don't do this, you might not get the airdrop. Not 100% sure about that, but I know projects are trying to filter out bots. And this quest here filters out the bots. So what it is, is you need to either have a Gitcoin passport or a Galaxy passport. The Gitcoin passport is a lot harder to obtain than the Galaxy one. So... If you haven't got either, I would go for the Galaxy Passport. And what you need to do with that is you need to identify yourself. So it's going to ask for some for a passport or a driver's license that you have to take a photo of. And then it's going to cost around three, four dollars on the BNB network. So you have to make sure you've got a few dollars, make sure you've got five dollars just to be sure on the BNB network. And then you will get a Galaxy Passport. It's essential for a lot of projects. So in other projects, this will also qualify you. A lot of other projects have a quest where they want to see that you've got a Galaxy Passport or a Gitcoin Passport. And I would do that ASAP. I don't know when the when that's going to end. So get that done as soon as you can. It's 2,500 points for that. So there's a lot of points. So make sure you get it done. The next one that we have is this one here. So these are mostly social tasks likes follows we have a couple quizzes in here as well so the first one is just a follow a like a retweet next one is make sure you have the human role in their discord the next one is just clicking through to an article and then we have a quiz that previous article will give you the answers for this quiz but i can if I can remember, I can quickly show you the answers for this. So the answers for this quiz is C for question one, B for question two, B for question three, D for question four, and A for question five. Okay, and then the next ones are just a follow on this one here. Visit a page here, visit another page, and then follow on the last one, and you will get all those points there. And then the quest that they've just released is this one. So first few really simple again, follow, like, retweet, Discord role, which you already have. Visit this page here and in a quiz. Again, if you want to read through this to get the answers for this quiz, you can, but I will give you the answers. And the answers are question one, C. 2 is A, 3 is C, 4 is D, and 5 is C. So that will get you through that one nice and quick. We then have another follow. We then have get a Discord role with Cypher Games. Then we have visit page, and then you're going to play one game of Crypto Rumble to get these points and it's like the bejeweled game the bejeweled app i think it was called bejeweled um and then the last one is to complete three games on rumble games and that will be the quest complete but most importantly make sure you get the passport either the gitcoin or the galaxy passport as i said it's not going to be beneficial just to this but to many other projects that require it and i think most projects coming up in the future will require you to have a Gitcoin passport or a Galaxy passport. And I will be dropping a video soon on the essentials that you need to qualify for airdrops. So like an airdrop toolkit, what you exactly need to qualify for upcoming airdrops and tools to also find airdrops really early. Okay, and that concludes this tutorial. So make sure that you get all of those done ASAP. We are nearing the mainnet launch, so there's not a lot of time left. This could be a huge airdrop similar to the other layer ones and layer twos that have launched in the last six months. A lot of hype behind it. So make sure you get these done as soon as possible. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you and help you. 
like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha more coming today and i will catch you in the next one